Can you talk to us about acquisition? So the, the, the fly, Hey, Andrew, the philosophy sounds great. You know, how are, how are you having people purchase, you know, 10 of these properties that meet these criteria, or 20 or whatever that number is? Cause it's obviously very competitive out there. It is very competitive. So I'll kind of start from the beginning, 2008, uh, 2009, uh, 2010, purely for me was MLS, right? At that time, it was me and me alone and was purely MLS because I really didn't know anything else. I was a real estate agent, so MLS was it. 2010, somehow I bumbled into auctions um, and I'm talking about county auctions at the time. And 2010, it was auctions and it was MLS. 11, 12, 13, 14, it was all either auctions or MLS and was 50-50 split. Right. Um, and all the properties for me and for everybody that came to mastery at the time, I, when I started in 2012 or 13, uh, everybody, we just trained to do the same thing. Right. And it was a template uh, that we expected everybody to follow. Now we have added basically off market, but we came to off market after about 2015 to 16. So that will, that means, um, basically a bunch of sites. So where we buy the data, where we buy the leads, and then we have people that call them, right? Uh, and they're following up people are, I want to sell my house, that kind of stuff. The other thing is mailings. The third thing is phone calls. Uh, now we're doing texts. But quite frankly, um, until just last year, we really did not focus on doing mailings or off, quote unquote, off market as it's known. Um, very um, seriously. We were always able to find properties, either MLS, either auctions. Now, obviously, because of Chicago RIA and the size of it, a lot of times, a lot of things lands in my lap uh, because people will just call, right? We get hundreds of those calls all the time. Um, most of them are duds because everybody's trying to be a wholesaler, obviously. Um, but a lot of things filters through. And, uh, you know, so that has been a gradual progression. So it was MLS, then it was auctions. And then from auctions, it went to um, online auctions. Then it, I was doing a lot of short sales, a ton of short sales um, I bought properties from, you know. And what I always believe is you have to have an edge. And by the time most people caught up to the auctions, I, auctions was a secondary method. We had gone to short sales. By the time everybody got up to short sales, we had already, we would just stayed a little bit ahead of the market because when you have your pulse on the market, you can feel kind of what the next thing is coming, if that makes any sense. 